Hey Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome to my new tarot scopes. This one, not rushed, but this one's quicker than usual because, you know, I was toying with doing it and now here I am doing it. And I've got so much other stuff to do. Anyway, you don't care about that. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with your tarot scope. Obviously, this is a general reading. You may resonate to it if you're Scorpio, Scorpio rising, moon in Scorpio. Uh, hopefully, you'll find something empowering and uh, a message for you. Uh, what I always like to say at the beginning of one of these readings is, what do you think is going to come up? What's your feeling? If you just tune in while I'm shuffling to what you feel the message is for December, and then it'd be interesting to see if it matches. Let's have a little look. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio. December. Scorpio. Okay, let's go. Okay, first card, always very important because it's the centre. It's the heart of the energy in December. And you have got the nine of pentacles. So this is great. You're f hopefully feeling very much yourself in December. Very like you achieved lots of things this year. You may be gone through lots of things this year, which are pretty intense. But here you are. The phoenix, the eagle, the scorpion. And uh, yeah, you're surrounded by this sense that you are hopefully patting yourself on your back for coming through. I'm just going to lay them down, otherwise I'll start talking all the way through. Okay, crossing you is the Nine of Swords. Interesting, it's another Nine. Behind you, the Queen of Swords. In front of you, the Two of Swords. Death card, the world. Yeah, baby. Temperance. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yes. And the Ace of Cups. Yes. Thank God for that. I would like to give the Scorpios bad news in December. This is good news, which I actually I didn't know because of the first card. Anyway, what's crossing you is this feeling of worry, which actually, you know, yes, it, it's it, you're a deep feeling human. So when something happens, you feel it so deeply, you, you can cry, you can go within yourself, you can feel the pain far deeper than most other signs. But maybe it's time to let this go just for now. Uh, don't let it stop your progress. You know, get counselling, seek support if there's still some emotional issues coming up. But now is the time for amazing things for you. Yes, be true to your emotions. I'm not one of those people, you know, that says we all have to be happy and like that all the time. Be true to your emotions, but, you know, be aware that you're moving into a phase of greatness and, and real joy in your heart. Uh, recently, you might have been cut off. Were you the Queen of Swords or was someone else the Queen of Swords? Well, you just detached yourself. Maybe you detach yourself to get to the point where you are now, where you feel that you're surviving, that you're thriving, and that you're moving forward. Uh, you've got a very strong sense of justice in your unconscious. You, you need justice to be done. Fair enough. And universal justice will always be done. But sometimes if we get caught up in justice of the moment, our idea of justice in the moment, it can drain our energy and it can take our mind off, you know, the flow of, of where we're going. Just put a card on that. Yeah, don't let that distract you. May also be some contracts coming up that you're unsure about, but you know they could be good for you. Trust your instincts, you've got great instincts. In the immediate future, you're doubting something. You're, you're feeling to yourself, well, you know, which way shall I go? I believe, looking at the rest of this spread, oh, I believe looking at the rest of this spread is a temporary feeling. It's, it's just a feeling of you going, oh, I just need to take a minute to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Again, nothing wrong with that. And then you've got the Queen of Wands and the Sun. This is a bloody great reading. So the Sun is saying, yeah, good. Take your time to make your decision because when you do, it's going to be the right one, baby. The Sun is here to bring you joy. And also there may be uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, which is also bringing you joy. Uh, and uh, the Queen of Wands is coming into warm cockles of your heart. Yep, there's been changes, um, an ending and a new beginning. But you are the queen of life, death and rebirth, or the king or the ex of life, death and rebirth. So, you know, you know that cycle pretty well. I'm not even going to pull a card on this because I like it so much. You've got the world here in your home environment. So in the privacy of your own home or in your space or in the space of a beloved's, you are feeling, yes, a peak experience of everything coming together. 
So there should be at least one moment of pure bliss coming up for you in December. Also, you're working towards the next phase for you. It's going to be about you being more spontaneous and leaping into something and feeling it and leaping it and really trusting yourself enough to make that leap. Uh, you're also, you fear that you're not balancing things up, but also you're positive you can balance things up. Temperance, in fact, temperance is the question and temperance is the answer. You know, when you, if you do feel slightly like you're going off piste or you're going in a, the wrong direction in December, just kind of look, is every area in my life balanced? How can I balance it? Well, um, you couldn't have a better outcome, really. You've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. You know, you're, you're being liberated from the crap of the past and, and you are moving through into a time where actually you can have good relationships and uh, good abundance in your life. I'm actually going to pull three more cards to finish with just to see if there's anything else that you need to know. But that was pretty clear. Scorpio. What else do you need to know? Let's see. Three cards for Scorpio December. Love it. I mean, you know, this is this is so good for you. It's so bright. The star, inspiration, healing, creativity. The king of wands. Definitely fire signs are going to have an impact on December for you in a positive way. Look out for them fiery fire signs. And, you know, you beavering away, working really hard and really focusing your energy to achieve your goals. Boom. What more do you want? I send you so much love. Um, and as I say, next time these readings, some people have got long ones, some people have got short ones. You know, I'm literally rushing. So forgive me if yours is shorter or longer than someone else's. Anyway, I love you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.